All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Murrieta, California, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at him dig that body shot right up through his opponent. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take two man those uppercuts. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. A oh, little single collar tie there. Great punch. Get 
real quick leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over three minutes to go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, single collar tie now. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the bench section. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Just misses with that one. You got to check these low leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, that's a good strike there by Chor. Slips to avoid the run. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Got clip with the right hand. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Choi. Got the single collar tie. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice punch there by the Korean Superboy. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Good punch land. And now he lands a combination. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Korean Super Bowl. Just misses there with the left. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Another shot lands upstairs. Ooh, big shot lands. So he lands another jab here. Nicely done there by the Korean Super Bowl. He was able to get that right hand over the top into the target. Right hand punch. Oh. So a strong five minutes down. Great work last round. He knocked him down. He shown you have the power to put anybody away. This round, let's go back to the same game plan. I want you to stay. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Nice kick. Oh, and a nice counter there with the hook after he blocked the previous shot. And he continues to work the body here. Good stick. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Out of range with that one. And he 
landed the right hand there. Misses with that punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Beautiful leg kick throw. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Choi <laughs> shot is blocked. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Big kick land. And they separate. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Misses with the left hook. That is a stunning leg kick. Wild swing there. Whoa! All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Chor. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Big punch lands through the middle. that jab once again. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking... Oh! Deuce hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Great 
Ready. Third round underway. Going to the body there with the right kick. Continues to land a high number of strikes. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, pass. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate so he knows that he can get the finish. Nice punch. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Single collar tie now. That knee might have landed there. Well, pinpoint usage of the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. And certainly making it count in this matchup tonight. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Beautiful punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Big clutch position. Watch him get busy with that other hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Hands high, hands high. The Korean Superboy gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Looked like he flipped him with a left-hand counter there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glove. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Hu Ho Chong. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was 